Hello and welcome to our third Flying Blind video cast. I'm Larry Lewis, your host, president and founder of Flying Blind LLC. And I'm really excited today to be back to talk to you about and to demonstrate a product that Flying Blind is becoming more and more involved with. Uh, before we get to the product, I'll, I'll drop a few hints. I'll let you know a little bit about the product. Uh, it encompasses everything that I like. And there are lots of things that I like, but things that are very important to me have to do with computers, learning how to type, and teachers. Uh, I've been using computers a long time. I've known how to type because I had a really great teacher since the fourth grade. And I have a real special spot for vision teachers because uh, you folks who are watching this video who are vision teachers do so much and have such an impact on your students' lives. And I can think back to uh, the profound impact that my vision teacher had on me. And the primary thing that he did was made sure that even though I know Braille, and even though I could read and write Braille, he wanted to make sure that I had the skills to communicate with a predominantly sighted society, that being typing. Now, when I learned how to type, and I hate to sound like I'm older than I am, but when I learned how to type, it was on both manual and electronic typewriters. A lot's changed since then. We have all different types of computers, of shapes and sizes and so forth, but the need for typing hasn't gone away. Uh, we have voice input, we have Siri on our iPhones and all this good stuff, but at the end of the day, for significant tasks in the classroom and moving on to employment, you really have to have some sort of typing capability, ability to type, and, and preferably type well. And that's not to say that you know, if you have some multiple impairments, there's not some workarounds, but case in point, it's very important for us to know how to type and know how to type in a variety of circumstances to get our work done. I'm here today to talk to you about a product and to demonstrate a product called Typeability. Uh, Typeability is a typing tutorial, a comprehensive typing tutorial that is tied directly into the JAWS for Windows screen reader that works on, on your Windows PC and the Magic screen magnification product that magnifies your screen. Uh, it is tied directly into using those products and it's a tutorial that runs on those products and Flying Blind is so excited to be working with uh, the folks at Yes Accessible. Um, yes Accessible is the company who develops this tutorial. It's a wonderful tutorial and I'm here today. If you are a user who needs to improve their typing skills, fantastic. This product's for you. But more importantly, if you're a vision teacher, rehabilitation teacher, or some sort of service professional who wants to make sure that your customers actually, or I shouldn't say customers, I should say consumers, actually learn how to type and competitively interact with, with PC applications and so forth, then typeability is for you. So uh, I'm not going to talk a lot about typeability except to say um, we're about to demo this. We're about to make this happen and drop some serious knowledge on you folks as to how this tutorial works. All right, so enough of the talk. We're actually going to get down to the demonstration of typeability. What we have here for those of you who are listening who are vision impaired, uh, I have an external keyboard connected to a computer. I'm just going to show the, the folks who can see. Put this back down. And we have the camera fairly focused on the monitor, which is in front of me, because I want uh, the folks who can see to be able to follow me along on the screen. Typeability is really easy to install. I'm not going to take time to install it. Uh, it's a download. When you download Typeability onto your computer, you uh, can do a couple of things. You can either buy the product or, uh, quite simply, you can just use the product 15 times as a demo. So you have full features to the product, you know, all the access that the product offers. You can run it 15 times and then it times out. Typeability is tied directly to your JAWS and or MAGIC serial numbers. So if you have your JAWS or MAGIC serial number, you can provide that and we'll give you a code that you can use to unlock the software. And uh, hopefully by the time this video is up, we'll have typeability in the Flying Blind store. So you can go to the Flying Blind website and, uh, and download it directly from the store. So we should have that in place by the time you're viewing this video. 
So type ability, just installs an icon on your desktop. F, F, fun with type ability. It's called fun with type ability. What's going to happen is I'm going to press enter on my keyboard to open this and it's going to walk me through pretty much putting in my name and it's going to assume that I have zero keyboard experience and it's going to refer to the fact that if you have an assistant, have them help you. Uh, at first I thought that was a little patronizing, but I don't think so anymore. If you've got somebody who doesn't know how to type at all, you might have to get them started a little bit by typing their name in for them. So I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to be quiet and let you listen and uh, for those of you who can see, look on the screen. Enter. Typeability dialog. Good afternoon and welcome to Typeability 4. The fun way to learn how to type, how to use the computer, and much, much more. Now I will be your guide through all your lessons, but I don't know your name yet, so either you or your assistant should type your first name, then a space, and then the first letter of your last name, and finally just press enter, then bingo, your lessons will begin. Are you ready to do that? Just type your first name, then space, and then the first letter of your last name, and then press enter. And bingo, your type ability session will begin. So go for it. Now, I'm going to type my name. I'm a junior. My father's a senior. I want to type my name Larry Jr. because I've signed on as Larry Lewis before. And I want to give you folks the experience of a brand new student doing this. So I've never signed on as Larry Jr. L and I don't need an assistant to do this, thankfully. A R R Y space J R period. I'd be in real trouble if I did. I'm going to go ahead and press enter. I have Larry Jr. on here. Enter. Well, this is super excellent. Larry, you will be my new friend. Welcome, welcome aboard. It's great meeting you, Larry. And guess what? I think you're really, really going to enjoy your type ability lessons. Well, now, Larry, I need your helper to press the F2 key twice quickly to start with lesson one. That's the F2 key twice quickly to start with lesson one. The F2 key is in the top row of the keyboard. It's the third key from the left. So Larry, please have your helper press the F2 key twice quickly right now. So we're not going to press F2 right now. This program takes advantage of function keys and I'll get into that for a moment. But what you'll need to do as the service provider is press a control plus the letter U and we'll actually make some adjustment to the user settings. So I want to do that first to take you through what's here. User preferences dialog, list box, humor young, default mode, user likes hearing children too. Okay, so we have a bunch of options here. Right now this is set for humor young and it's like type ability will talk to the student as if they were a kid, a child, a first, second, third, fourth, fifth grader. Uh, if you have an adult, if you're you know, working with a blinded veteran or a blinded somebody who's vision impaired later on in life, I'm going to press my down arrow. Humor adult, user prefers adult humor. Uh, adult humor or adult dialect. When you get through each lesson, type ability tells you a joke once you get through it. So it's kind of a fun little nice way to break things up. Typing experience little. Default mode. Key locations are though. Okay. So uh, typing experiences are just a little bit. You can change that. Typing experience a lot. Explanations for key locations are low. So we have a lot of typing experience. You don't have to, to have a lot of uh, things explained if you just, because this is a pretty advanced tutorial. Speech rate normal, default mode, JAWS speaks at a motor. So JAWS will speak normally, we can slow it down. Speech rate slow, JAWS speaks at a slow speed. Speech rate very slow, JAWS speaks at a very slow speed. So we got normal, slow, and very slow, uh, just so you know. We're going to keep it at normal because I think most of the people watching this video will be able to understand normal. Speech rate fast, JAWS speaks at a fast and speed. And fast, it's killing me to go slow because I listen to things fast, but we're going to stick with it. Double press speed normal default. User can double press F. Um, we won't worry about that so much. Double press speed slow. User given more time to double PR. So for double presses on your function keys, you can uh, press them at a normal. We're going to be double pressing keys sometimes. You can slow that down or keep it normal. Context yes. Default mode. And type a word tasks. The word is context mode. And type jokes yes. Default mode. A joke is told when student finish. So we can have jokes turned on or off. Jokes no. A joke. Dictation typing echo on. Default when taking dictation tip. So you can have typing echo on when you're dic typing dictation drills, which we'll talk about 
Dictation type in echo off when taken dictation, no key breeze. And you could have you could have no keys announced when dictation is, is done when you're doing dictation lessons. Dictation type in echo pitch high default pitch of type in echo. High pitch for our echo. Dictation type in echo pitch low pitch. Low of pitch. PC keyboard input default mode. Student is typing on the PC. Uh, PC keyboard, one thing that we should uh, uh, also say is you can either use a standard PC keyboard for this. Braille keyboard input. Student is typing on the power cord. Or you can use the power cord braille keyboard manufactured by Touch Graphics, uh, which is a USB braille keyboard that plugs into your computer. And you can use this for some simulated uh, braille activities if you wanted to, to teach type uh, braille writing as well. The primary function is um, for typing. But there is Braille key input through the Power Braille keyboard. Again, that's manufactured by Touch Graphics. You can go to www.touchgraphics.com to find more out about the Power Braille keyboard. Two hand typist, default mode. The student can use both hands. And we have two hand typing mode as our default mode. One hand typist, student not penalized for using the wrong SID. And so uh, for one handed typing as well, for people with multiple impairments, we can do that as well. Restore default preferences. Restore and default of course, preferences. we can restore our defaults. I'm not going to change any of the settings. I'm going to press escape to get out of here. Escape, type ability, dialog closed. Now, no lesson is running. So, uh, what we can do is I'll go into the first lesson by pressing F2 twice. And there are 99 lessons to start with to learn how to type. And then there's a series of lessons for other things you can do, such as type with the... Um, tutorial tells you to type and do some play some games and stuff like that but to get started we need to press our F2 key twice quickly and it's just going to take us into uh, the first lesson so let's do that we won't go through the entire lesson because there's a lot I want to show you lesson one the top row escape and function keys F1 F2 F3 F4 F5 all right, in this very first lesson, you will be learning how to type in the very top row of keys. In the top row of keys, you will learn how to find the escape key and also some other keys called function keys on some typing keyboards. However, at the very top, there's a row of small round buttons, but we don't want to press those small round buttons. So if you have a row of round buttons at the top, then ignore them. We are just looking for the top row of square keys. Now you will be typing the keys escape, then space. The escape key is in the very top row of keys. The escape key is the very first key on the left of the top row, and the space key is right smack dab in the middle of the very bottom row of keys. It's a really wide key. Go ahead and type escape, then space. Type it four times. Go for it. Escape, yes. Alt, no, type, space. So what happened was I hit the alt key after I pressed escape. It said escape, yes, alt, no. Uh, so it gives you feedback when you hit the wrong keys. Space, there you go. Again, type escape, then space. Escape, right. Space, go, again. Escape, yeah. Alt, no, type, space. Space, there you go. One last time, type, escape, escape, good. Space, well, wonderful. Next, you will be typing, escape, F1, then space. The F1 key is in the top row of keys. It's just to the right of the escape key. That means it's the second key in the top row. Go ahead and type, escape, F1, then escape, good. Escape, no, type, F1. The F1 key is the first key to the right so of I the escape. So I just hit escape key. again. Your left hand, F1. You did it, now press the space. Space, that's right, again, type, escape, escape, yeah, F1, yeah, yes, space, good, again, escape, right, F1, space, that's it, one last time, escape, F1, space, pop up, beautiful, the next key will be escape, F1, F2. And I'm not going to take up uh, a lot of time going through this lesson, I just wanted to show you how interactive this is. If you want to get out of type ability, you have to press escape three times really fast. <laughs> Well, th 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 that's all, folks. It's time to say goodbye. So, you're closing type ability. Larry, it was really, really great playing with you. So, see you later, alligator. Alrighty. So, we're going to go right back into type ability. To close type ability, press escape three times quickly. Enter type ability dialog. Good afternoon, and welcome to type ability four. The fun I'm going to type Larry Jr. again. A-R-R-Y space J-R period. Enter. Well, well, hello Larry, it's just wow, wonderful to see you once again. Wow, I just saw you earlier today. Welcome back. Now, would you so, like to go to the last lesson that you were working on? It was lesson one. You uh, were learning the keys, escape, space, F1, F2, F3, F4, and F5. Well, if you do want to go to lesson one, all you have to do is press F2. 
Twice quickly, that's easy, isn't it? Just press F2, twice quickly, to go to lesson 1. Of course, if you would rather go to a different lesson, just press F3, twice quickly, then you can pick any lesson that you want. So, Larry, press F2 or F3 twice quickly, do it right now. <laughs> so it tells me to do it right now. We're either going to press F2 quickly, uh, twice uh, quickly to go back to the lesson we were just working on. It, it remembers that it saw us earlier today. It also remembers that we stopped at lesson one. Maybe we had a lunch break or had to go to the bathroom or recess or whatever. Um, I don't want to do that. I want to go to lesson. I want to show you how to look for a list of lessons and show you how comprehensive this is. So I'm going to press F3 twice quickly. F Larry, this is the pick a lesson or task dialog, and it contains a list of the keyboarding lessons and games. So, just arrow to the lesson or game you want and press enter to start it. You're now at the top of the list. On the very first lesson, it teaches the function keys. But if you wish, go ahead and look through the rest of the list. So let's assume you have a student of any age who might know how to type a little bit. We're going to use our up and down arrow and just check out some of the lessons here. We got 99 of them. Two. New letters from the home row. ASD closed. So our ASD. Three. Word practice. The home row closed. Word practice on the home row. I'm going to skip down a bunch. Nine. Letter practice. Home row and above closed. Home row and above. Ten. Word practice. Home row and above closed. Eleven. More word practice. Home row and A closed. I'm going to go um, a couple more down. Sixteen. More word practice. Above. Home. Nineteen. The control keys. Control plus twenty-one. Game three. Fill in the missing letters on multi closed. So I'm going to go on to game three because by this point we've learned quite a bit of the keyboard and some other keys. So I'm going to press enter. Enter 21. Game 3D. Fill in the missing letters on multi. Game 3. All right. This game is just like the previous game, except that in this game there are several sentences printed on the screen. So you will find that there are several different lines of text that you need to read. You see, the words are printed on the screen from the left side to the right side. And just like on the piece of real paper, when the words get all the way to the right and you run out of paper, then the next words have to be printed on the next line. So on your computer, in order to move to and hear the next line of words, just press the down arrow or to move to and hear the words on the line above, just press the up arrow. Finally, when you hear a sentence that has a word that's missing a letter, then move to the word and add the missing letter. Okay, here's the first task. First, press the up arrow until you get to the top line. Then press the down arrow until you find the sentence with the misspelled word. Then use control plus right arrow to find the word that you need to fix. When everything is fixed, then press numpad enter. Go for it. Alrighty, so let's try this. My bedroom window, you see if the roses are in. Bloom, they have the most wonderful smell. Bloom, they have the most wonderful smell. Bloom, they have the most in the early morning the early morning has okay in the early morning hours before anyone else has oaken up. I like the climb. So we have an early morning hours before everyone else has oaken up. I think they meant woken up. We won't criticize any grammar here, but we will say woken up. How about that? Oaken. I just used my control right arrow to move over to oaken. I'm going to press my left arrow. Space. And then my right arrow. O. Get my cursor right on my W. W. And so on. My bedroom window, you see if the roses are in. Bloom, they have the most wonderful smell. Bloom, they have the most wonderful smell. Enter. But, but wonderful, 100 points, task 2. Okay, this is just like the last task. So press the up arrow until you get to the top line. Then press the down arrow until my bedroom wind had in the early morning hours before anyone else has woken up. I like to climb out of bed and pen. My bedroom window, you see if the roses are in. Has woken up, I like to climb out of bed and pen. So it says I like to get out of bed and pin my my window. I think they've been open. So I'm gonna basically control right arrow. Woken up I like to walk out of bed and pen. Space. I'm gonna get my cursor right on the P by pressing my uh, right arrow after I hit control right arrow to get over to pin. P. And I'm gonna press O. O. And press enter. Enter. Two hundred points, task three. All right, this is also just like the last task. So again, I don't want to take up video space by playing an entire game, but it's very fun, very easy to do. Let's get out of this lesson again by um, triple um, press on the escape key quickly. This dialogue closed. See you later, alligator. 
and we are out. Go back Next in, because there's a couple other things I want to show you. F enter. Type ability type Larry off. Jr. A R R Y C J period. Enter. Well, well, hello, Larry. It's just what a wonderful to see you once again. Wow, I just saw you earlier today. Welcome back. Now, would you like to go to the last lesson that you were working on? It was lesson 21. You were playing the game where you have several lines of text and you have to fill in the missing letters. Well, if you do want to go to lesson 21, press F2 twice quickly or to go to a different lesson, press F3 twice quickly. So, so again, Larry, press F2 or F3 twice quickly. Do it right now. So again, we're not going to worry about um, going back and playing the game. I'm going to press F4 twice quickly. This is going to, so basically pressing F3 twice quickly brings up those 99 lessons that teach you the keyboard. Once those 99 lessons are complete and so forth, I'm going to press F4 twice and let's see what happens. This is the Pick a Dictation Lesson dialog. Use your up and down arrows to move through the list of the dictation lessons. You can also use your right and left arrows in order to display or to hide the different dictation tasks in each lesson. If you press enter on the task, the lesson will start from that task. So. Once we know our keyboard, now we have all these dictation lessons so that they're reading to us and we're writing back. So we have two multiple punctuation marks. Multiple Close. punctuation marks. If we wanted to open that, we'll just right arrow. Open two multiple punctuation marks. And now it's kind of like a tree view. We can just look at all these tasks by right arrowing. Level two. My face has holes for a mouth, nose, eyes. Level two. I like dogs and cats. Are you crazy? Stop honking the horn. Three of thirteen. So there's 13 tasks in this lesson. So I'm just going to press enter. You get the idea how this works. Enter. Well, Larry, this is a dictation task where you should type whatever I say. And if you make a typing mistake, do not try to correct your mistake by using your arrow keys or the delete key. Just keep typing even though you make a mistake. And don't try to read what you typed by pressing the reading key like the up arrow. Just keep typing what you're supposed to type as you listen to the dictation. Okay, Larry, I'm going to read to you what you're supposed to type twice. Here's what you're supposed to type. Are you crazy? Stop honking the horn. Now I'll read it to you telling you the punctuation. Are you crazy? Question mark. Stop honking the horn. Exclamation mark. Okay, Larry, now I'm going to dictate to you around three words at a time. And when you finish typing everything that I've dictated to you, just press escape once and I'll tell you your score. Now here's what to type. Are you crazy? Quest question. Are you crazy? Stop honking the horn. Exclamation mark. Then press escape once to hear your score. Stop. Okay. The horn. Press escape to hear your score. All right, Larry, you typed 25 words per minute, and your spelling accuracy was 87%. Uh -oh. You're an example of one of your mistakes. You misspelled the word honking. You spelled it H-U-N-K-I-N-G. But here's how you should spell the word honking. H-O-N-K-I-N-G. Okay, Larry, would you like to type it again to get a better score? If so, press F2 three times quickly. Or to go to the next dictation task, press F2 twice quickly. Okay, Larry, choose what you're going to do next. It's up to you. I'm going to type it correctly, and if you're a teacher, you should make that child type hunking, hunking. I would make them type it a bunch of times, but that's because I'm a mean teacher, I guess. So I'm going to press F2 quickly three times. Once again, you'll repeat task three. All right, Larry, this is a dictation task. So remember, if you make a typing mistake, do not try to correct your mistake by using your arrow keys or the delete key. Just keep typing even though you make a mistake. And don't try to read what you typed by pressing the reading key. Just keep typing while you listen to the dictation. Okay, Larry, I'm going to read to you what you're supposed to type twice. Here's what you're supposed to type. Are you crazy? Stop honking the horn. Now I'll read it to you telling you the punctuation. Are you crazy? Question mark. Stop honking the horn. Exclamation mark. Okay, Larry, now I'm going to dictate to you around three words at a time. And when you finish typing everything that I've dictated to you, just press escape once and I'll tell you your score. Now here's what to type. Are you crazy? Question mark. Are you? You can hear that the typing is in a different voice, the keyboard crazy. typing. Stop honking the horn, exclamation mark. Stop. Then press escape once to hear your score. Stop. Stop. Honky, we'll spell it right. Honky. The, the. horn. Or press escape to hear your score. 
Right arm, Larry, bump up beautiful. You typed it perfectly, and you typed 23 words per minute. Yes, 23 words per minute. Good job. Now, Larry, if you'd like to type it again, to get it even faster than 23 words per minute, then press F2 three times. And we don't need to see how fast I can type. I'm going to escape out of here. Alligator. One more thing I want to show you, folks, before we wrap it. Desktop, folder, view, list, view, fun with type ability. You're going to get tired of seeing Enter. me back here, type ability. Type ability. Fourth type time. Good afternoon, and L A R R Y J A R Y. Enter. Well, well, hello, Larry. It's just what a wonderful to see you once again. Wow, I just saw you earlier today. Welcome back. Now, would you like to go to the last lesson that you were working on? It was lesson 21. I just pressed the control key, which you can do with JAWS to stop it from speaking. I'm going to press F11 twice, and I'm not going to get into great detail here, but um, there's some interesting things here for teachers. F teachers mode. Now pressing F3 or F4 twice quickly will allow you to run the lessons that your teacher created. Or if you are a teacher, you can now create your own lessons by pressing F3 or F4 twice quickly. So, I can press dictation lessons or typing lessons. I can create as the teacher by pressing F11 twice. If I press F3 and F4 twice, I can actually create lessons for my students. And then I can get my students into this mode and I can actually um, have them do the lessons I create. I don't want to take a lot of time with that, uh, but I think that's really fantastic because let's say you're a very creative teacher. There's some great lessons here. Maybe you want to bring out some spelling tests that are a little bit more specific to what the student is doing or whatever. This is a great way for you to do that. Again, you press F11 uh, twice quickly, and then we'll just go to F4 for dictation. I'll press that twice quickly. This is the Pick a Teacher's Dictation Lesson Dialog. Use your up and down arrows to move through the list of all the dictation lessons you have created. You can also use your right and left arrows in order to display or to hide the different dictation tasks in each lesson. And if you wish to create a new dictation lesson, just tap to the three buttons that are dedicated to creating, editing, and removing your personalized... So it's pretty easy. It's a dialog box. I can just tab. Tab. OK button. Tab. Cancel button. Tab. Add dictation button. So I can add a lesson. Tab. Edit dictation button. Edit a lesson. Tab, remove dictation button. Or remove a lesson. And I can, I'm not going to go through the details of how to do all that. It's very self-explanatory, very easy to walk through. Um, this is a fantastic product. Uh, Flying Blind is in the business of selling, marketing, promoting products that uh, maybe you haven't heard of. There's been some typing tutorials around for um, decades, it seems. And... Um, it's time for a fresh approach to how we teach students how to type. Times are changing, times are changing and uh, we need something a little bit more innovative than the status quo. That's why we're behind this product. Uh, we love it. We think it's a fantastic tool for educators, for rehab professionals, or for end users who just want to enhance their keyboard skills and so forth. It's $150 to buy a typeability license. Uh, we do have um, site licensing for if you want it on five or six or ten different computers. Uh, as I said, we should have this in the store at the time of the video being put on YouTube. Uh, it is um, up to my webmaster who's standing behind me, and I'm making sure that he hears this while I'm recording it live. Got to have this in the store, which means I've got to get him some information so that we have it in the Flying Blind store. So it's on me as well. Um, it's great. $150 and the output that this thing gives you. It's, it's not a replacement for a person. It doesn't mean you as a teacher cannot be engaged and can go away and, and so forth. But what it does mean is that you have a helper, you have a student who can do some homework, some independent work on their own. You teach responsibility, getting things done on time, and you get them engaged, interacting with a motive of uh, input that will help them for the rest of their life. Uh, for more information about typeability, you can email typing at flying blind, that's T Y P I N G at flying blind, F L Y I N G dash blind, B L I N D dot com. You can also call 216 381 8107 for more information and uh, to place your order under the most securest uh, means possible. We do PayPal, credit cards. Uh, purchase orders with school districts and so forth and states. 
Uh, again, we'll have it in the store. We'll have some buy buttons up there for you and uh, the capability of downloading it and so forth. And you can always call, place your order, get some questions answered. You can also email us. It's been a lot of fun cutting this video. Uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun for me. Normally we're a little bit more higher, higher tech and a little bit more intense. This was a little bit more relaxed. And I had a good time showing this or demonstrating this product and showing all what this product can do for all of you. I hope you have a great end of your summer, and I know we're getting ready to go back to school. You're getting ready for the school year, uh, getting done with your vacations and so forth. So have a great end of your summer, and again, keep typeability in the back of your mind if you're a person who needs to improve their keyboard skills, or if you're a service provider who needs to help their, their uh, consumers type a whole lot better than they're typing right now. Thanks a lot.